हेलो दोस्तों मेरा नाम उदय चंद अग्रवाल है और मुझे जो बीमारी हुई थी वो फिलहाल आप लोगों को बहुत कम ही पता होगी क्योंकि मेरा शरीर पूरा सुख के मेरा पेट बाहर निकल आया था चलने फिरने में बहुत तकलीफ हो रही थी और कहीं जा आ जा नहीं पा रहा था इसी वजह से हमेशा बिस्तर पे लेटा रहता था उसके बाद मुझे और मेरे पापा ने इस तकलीफ देखी और उनसे रहा नहीं गया और उन्होंने लोकल डॉक्टर से सलाह मशवरा करके मुझे सेवनी हॉस्पिटल एडमिट के लिए लाया यहाँ पे मुझे पता चला कि मुझे जो बीमारी है वो बहुत कम लोगों को पता होती है धीरे धीरे करके मेडिसिन से ट्रीटमेंट शुरू हुआ वो मेडिसिन ट्रीटमेंट मुझे छः महीने तक कुछ तो सुधार नहीं सका आखिर में डॉक्टर साहब मिस्टर शिवशंकर दलाई ने मुझे टिप ऑपरेशन के लिए मशवरा किया जो कि मेरा ऑपरेशन जनवरी 9 को 2017 में मैं हॉस्पिटल में एडमिट हुआ था वो ऑपरेशन की वजह से आज मैं फिलहाल जी पहले से बहुत अच्छा में हूँ और मैं और मेरे मुझे अभी कोई तकलीफ भी नहीं है पेट का जो साइज बड़ा था वो कैसा है मेरा पेट का साइज तो मेरा बॉडी सूख के जितना हो, नॉर्मली होना चाहिए उससे तीन गुना ज्यादा बड़ा हो चुका था और अभी फिलहाल मेरा पेट का साइज एक साल बाद देख रहा हूँ पूरा नॉर्मल है ऑपरेशन के बाद और चलने फिरने में दौड़ने में सांस का अभी कोई तकलीफ भी नहीं है मिस्टर उदय केम टू मी विदली सोलन एडम एंड विद इट इवेलुएटेड द पेशेंट विथ अल्ट्रासाउंड डॉपलर ऑफ एडम एंड देन एम आर आई ऑफ एडम वी फाउंड दैट ही वॉज सफरिंग फ्रॉम अ डिसीज कॉल्ड बर्चेरी सिंड्रोम वट इज द बर्चेरी सिंड्रोम बर्चेरी सिंड्रोम इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद अ लिवर देर आर थ्री veins that comes out of the liver bringing the impure blood from the liver they are called hepatic veins and once these hepatic veins are occluded from both or severely stenosed that can impediment the venous drainage from the liver that is one way the other way is that the inferior vena cava which is the major venous channel of the body which goes via liver if that has a stenotic lesion then also we can have this similar problem which is called a bartcheri syndrome so bartcheri syndrome is either occlusion of the ivc in the retrohepatic segment or the hepatic venous occlusion that can lead to this uh, bartcheri syndrome so we decided to go ahead with the dips in this patient directly we went ahead from the jugular root into the liver and from the liver we went inside and approach the cotal vein did the angioplasty of the tract and put a stent graft that is called the dips direct uh, intrahepatic photosystemic shunt and the patient's arthritis has come down dramatically over 6 to 8 weeks and he has followed up with uh, us now at the end of 2 uh, years and he is doing fantastic phenomenal uh, improvement this is the mesenteric venogram we can see the injection of supramesenteric vein in the supramesenteric artery the venous space showing uh, the porto vein so we can just notice the porto vein here and the right so we we have seen that uh, the porto vein over here with the uh, right and left uh, for vein that's it's a main porto vein so we are trying to approach it to here and uh, we try to get inside uh, the right portal vein and then come down to the main portal vein that's what uh, we are trying to do we can see this uh, this is uh, the main portal vein and this is the right and this is the left portal vein we are just across it and we try to hit it somewhere here and then come down uh, with the foot in wire that is what we are uh, trying to do so this is a uh, uh this is uh, what we have to do so now we can see our wire has come from the right portal vein into the main portal vein and coming down this is what we want then we take our coprans catheter over that and this is the portal venous uh, 
angiogram and then we can see the main portal vein, the right and left portal vein we have punctured at the right place. Uh, just to see to the bifurcation on the, the right portal vein. And then we put a stiff wire so that so that we can navigate our balloon safely for the angioplasty. Bring our angioplasty here serially from uh, uh, 640 to 840 and the 940, 1040 uh, depending on the length uh, we just uh, decide to do an angioplasty. So this is uh, the junction from the liver parenchyma to the portal venous axis and uh, we could uh, achieve a good result. Then we have navigated our marking pigtail to understand the length of the stent graft that will be required and also we check the pressure of the portal system that will be the pre-procedure pressure of the portal system so after the stent graft again we will check uh, to see the gradient and we can see those uh, varices filling directly so now we have measured the kind of length that will be required for the graft to be placed and now we are deploying our graft this is the stem course and this is the graft so it's a hybrid system the proximal part is a stem and the distal part is a graft We are deploying it nicely and then this is what it looks like after deployment. We can see this stent and the junction and the graft. So there is a little bit of kink which we will uh, do a balloon angioplasty subsequently. So this is how it looks like. We can open up this and sometimes we require to put another stand to augment uh, to create enough radial strength to keep things parent. The entire stent uh, we will angioplasty and this is how the final angiogram looks like. This is just beautifully the pressure has been released and uh, the flow is beautiful into the IVC right atrium and this is how we completed the procedure of direct intrahepatic porosystemic sun in this young patient who is having refractory ascites due to Bacchiari syndrome.